pop went January and it is a starry eyed February. Who's the star of the show? Welcome back to the channel. Now, apologies, the nominations have been crazy this series, so there hasn't been that many videos for this series, simply because I didn't want to do a really inaccurate eviction prediction, since they didn't reveal them until the actual show. So I didn't want to make, I just felt a bit unprofessional, do you know what I mean? So I felt I won't do it until they actually reveal one, but they haven't until this final vote. So anyway, we're here. It is the winner's prediction video. And let's just go through who is a finalist and if they should win or not. There is six finalists. And in my view, five of the six are well-deserving finalists. One of them is not. But first, let's start the video by talking about this very colourful, let's say it has been colourful, series of Celebrity Big Brother 2017, 2017, 2017 Winter. Now at the very start of the series they promised colourful characters and pop goes January and it certainly did freaking pop. Oh my god, the first 10 days everybody was just paranoid, everybody was crazy, they just argued about random things. There was a kind of apparent all-star and new start divide at the start and then they kind of all got together and like, mm, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have a divide because some people in each group didn't like their own. So it went a bit doolally. And then the three hellish housemates turned up, Kim, Chloe and Jessica, and it all kicked off. And yes, we don't like arguments all the time, but we've had a lot of fun moments this series and that's what they kind of promised. They kind of promised a colourful, fun series. And comparing it to other series, it has been more fun -er than previous series. So clap, 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 clap to all the people in the BB team. That's the only time I will clap the BB team not being very happy with them at the moment but if you want to know why go on to my twitter page it'll be down below it is at big brother focus oh my god just the main thing for me is outside contact they've had a lot of that this series tweets people from the bb team visual they can this housemates can see them just comments from the outside world just all that sort of stuff like that's not big brother you, you go into Big Brother not to see other people or not to hear anything from the outside world. That's what I don't like. So maybe a bit less of that, but overall every, it was great. Maybe the task could have been a little bit better, but the, the ones that they got right, oh my God, amazing. Ball pit bingo, n is it the land of Nod? And, oh, what was the other one? Oh, the rock star task, loved them, classic. BB. Some were a little bit like, oh, I've seen that before, but they kind of had their own twist to it. And this series has proved that older housemates will rule Big Brother. Angie ruled the first 10 days. Kim has ruled the house ever since. Just, we need more older housemates. New, fresh faced, baby faced, younger housemates will not do. Chloe, we don't like her. Bye bye. Jumping in the pool. That's great. But then when you splash Kim, no, 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 no. You do not splash older housemates. Older housemates rule the show. So overall this series, I have really liked it. Now, as I've just said previously, could have had a little bit, little bit of tweaks, like hmm, maybe shouldn't have done that. But overall I've enjoyed it. Had a little bit of a rant on Twitter, you know, if you follow me on there, then you'll know. But other than that, I really liked it and if you've complained about it, I really don't know why. Maybe because you didn't get your own way? I don't know. Like, I'm, I've am i got to be honest, I'm like that sometimes. Like, if evicted housemate's gone, then I get a bit like, ugh, for God's sake. But then I've got to remember, I wanted to watch this show, and I know the rules of the show, and yeah, housemate I like will go at some point. It's, it's inevitable. 
Like, I've just got to deal with it. Like, I can't get so invested in a show. It's only on for a month. So, I mean, <laughs> I can last four weeks of being disappointed and then happy. I love the show to death. But if someone leaves and I don't like it, I've just got to deal with it, really. But some people, they just can't. Like, series over. Oh, my God, series over. Like, um, when Spidey left, yeah, people were going crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the series over. Didn't really bring much to the show in general, really. Only the last week they were in there, and that wasn't a lot. So when they went, it wasn't that noticeable, really. And then when they left, people thought, oh, it's going to be boring. It had been far from boring. Let me tell you, Kim has just grown more because Spidey have gone. So Kim has just been even more outrageous, and it's so brilliant. So if you're watching this, and you're a Big Brother fan, please don't overreact if your favourite or someone you like goes. It doesn't mean the series is over, don't panic, like, take a chill pill or sit down or just don't watch the series. Like, I'm not watching, I'm not watching anymore. Well, turn off then. But I guarantee, but I guarantee you don't turn off because it is that addicting. I mean, you're a Big Brother fan, why would you turn off? Front over. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go through who are the finalists and see if I think they should win or not, and then my med blah, 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 and then make my final eviction, eviction prediction. Then make my final winners prediction. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to do it, even if it, I have to pick two people because it's so difficult. First up is Bianca. She does not deserve to be in there. No way. She has been a drip. Now, you could say, well, you don't see the whole show. You only see an hour a night. You watch live feed. She's a drip. I know we only get one hour a week, but she's a drip. So the two hours I've seen, like live shows, she's a drip, like an actual drip. Now you're probably thinking a drip. Nothing there, just, just like a tap, just that's really bad sounding drip. She's just nothing, nothing there. And how people can still support her when she has a boyfriend, but then was fondling with Jamie. But no, Jamie got the bad rap of it because he's a man. No, the girl was wrong too. So they both get equal. So making her winner would be the greatest injustice ever. She does not deserve to win. No freaking way. I can't be bothered talking about her anymore. Next. Next up is Colleen, and she is lovely, lovely woman. Now, yes, she's been quiet, and some people say, yes, yeah, she's been boring. I'm a different people. I think she brings sanity. When you see the odd clip of her, like, bitching or having a funny comment, everyone bitches. You'd be lying to yourself if you say you didn't, bitch. Everyone bitches in their life at one point. And yes, she speaks the truth. Yeah, she might not say it to the person, but I bet half of the people in life don't say it to the person because they just can't be bothered speaking to the person because they don't deserve their time. Colleen is, brings sanity to Big Brother. Oh, and she's a bit very relatable as well. So, I mean, making her win would be brilliant and it would boost her confidence like at the start of the series she was worrying that what um the public think of her and now she's got really confident now the public saved her and she got the most votes a few weeks back and she really if she won it would be amazing and she'd just be on top of the world next up is jane c such a lovely man it, just someone you'd want to live with. Yes, he's a quiet one as well, but the things he does and says on the odd moment is amazing and just and just makes the whole show. Like, it's, it's just, just a brilliant housemate. Now, again, lots of people say he's boring. Well, most of the people who do say he's boring are younger people who just want rows, who just want fights, who are, very new to Big Brother. 
that's not what Big Brother is. Bleh, that's not what Big Brother is about. It's not about arguments. It's not about all that. It's just about pe sticking people in a house and listening to the conversations, the arguments, the laughter. Yeah, laughter, and just rolling with it. And I think James C has been a brilliant housemate. He's classic Big Brother. Next is Jedward. Now, the start. When they arrived, I did not like them. I thought they were absolute idiots. Like, they're 19. Wait, no, they're not 19. They're 25. See? And they don't act 25. They act younger than 19. It's actual... Actual? It's actually a joke. And over the weeks, I've kind of grown to like them since I thought Nicola was a bit unfair to them and when they do random things just to torment or wind up people it's actually quite funny so if they got the crown as well i'd be genuinely happy because they brought the fun that the show promised they brought the fun to the show next is nicola wow she's been through a tough time oh wow um <laughs> she sailed at the start and then when kim arrived all guns blazing all guns blazing it was kim versus nicole nicola nicole as kim likes to call her nicole she's held her own at times but then nicola sometimes been like mm, you shouldn't have said that but i respect the fact that she just stands up for herself not many people in that house do that but nicole nicola does that if she won, I seriously wouldn't mind. Like, she's obviously got the winning qualities and she's obviously been through everything that you can in the house. So if she won, I would not mind. And lastly, Kim. Ooh. One word to describe Kim. Actually, two words. Argumentative. And the second word, legend. Absolutely actual legend she she will be the outstanding person to remember this series if you want to look back at this series people will remember that's this series for kim like she <laughs> adulterer ah, and then chicken liver and then chinless wonder like one liners after one liners each episode she's just amazing like her switch just clicks like <laughs> she could be all like oh hello darling and then absolutely blast the person she doesn't like wow it's good to watch like i know i don't i'm not really into like aggressive arguments but she makes it funny <laughs> like i know she's serious and everything but the things she comes out with oh my god and the way she says it amazing she she will be in one of the she'll be in my top 10 for sure of best celebrity big brother housemates forever she deserves a crown all by itself whether she's the winner or not she best housemate this series best housemate so now it is the winner's prediction now who i'd like to win is either kim or colleen and that was, that was a hard choice but either Kim or Colleen, who I think will win. <sighs> who I think will win. <sighs> that is hard. I'm, I'm gonna. Oh. I think Jedward. Oh, I don't know. No, nah! I don't. Right. I'm just gonna cancel out. So I don't think Nicola will win. I don't think Bianca will win. That's two gone. James here, I don't think will win. So that leaves three. Um, oh. Colleen or Kim. Who I think will win, Colleen or Kim. Who I'd like to win, Colleen or Kim. Now, if any of the five except Bianca, any, yeah, any of the five except Bianca win, I'd be so happy. But either Colleen or Kim just amazing that'd be the icing on the cake so keep checking the big brother account or my big brother account or my personal account to see who actually won if you're not watching it 
because I really want to get this prediction right and I want praise. So <laughs> it's hard choice. So I hope I've, hopefully I've got it right. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you, thank you for watching this series on this channel. It's been amazing. Like I know there's been lack of videos. I know they've only done four for this series, and it's been pretty hard. But I think I've done quite well with the circumstances. You you all know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. It will be no more Big Brother videos from now till about Mayish time. And I've got a few ideas coming up, so that's going to be exciting. Maybe gaming, maybe more life stories. Oops. But yeah, stay tuned for that. So make sure you subscribe and you'll get a notification when I've uploaded a new video. And like the video if you enjoyed it and comment below who you think will win. And don't cheat. Don't watch the show and then comment down below after. But... <laughs> But yeah, if, if you're watching this after the final, then say if you thought, it, how you thought the final went, or how you think the winner reacted, or how do you think the winner, if you thought the winner deserved it. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!